Hello, welcome back to Finding Media Jones, y'all. You know what that sound means. We haven't done this in a while. For all you newbies here, this is to pick a number for the Hunter Envelope Challenge. Yay! So we're gonna pick a number. And to pick an envelope. 69. Number 69. So we're gonna do we're gonna roll what we're we gonna do to figure out how much we put in envelope 69. We're gonna roll the dice and see how much we put in. $15 in the number 69 envelope. $15 in the $69 envelope. Let's do it, y'all. So welcome back. As I said, we're going to be putting $15 in the $69 envelope. Um, I have not stuffed this one yet, so that was a good pick. We're going to put the dice back, and we're going to get out my bigums folder so in the bigums we're going to be stuffing seventy dollars okay so whatever's left over is after seventy dollars so let's go ahead and count the money and 10 20 30 40 45 50 55 60 62 64 66 68 70. so we're going to be putting 15 dollars in the 69 dollar envelope and the rest is going to go into the rest of my savings challenges. So we're going to transfer $15 into my M1 account. And we're going to put that right there to show that we did it. We're going to put this back in because we're not finished with that, uh, with that envelope. And that's how I do my 100 envelope savings challenges. Since I have such a little money to, to um, put towards my 100 envelope, but I want to, you know, make some progress. I pick a number and I roll the dice. To, I pick a number to find out which envelope I'm picking and I roll the dice, usually these small dice, but I chose a big one to figure out how much money I'm putting in the envelope. And it's been progressing nicely but slowly. Okay, so we're going to put the money into the money tray. How are y'all doing? I hope you're doing well. Um, I'm not quite sure when you guys see this, but whenever you see this, um, uh, I hope it finds you well. So we're going to be pulling out the big ones. Okay, so we got this. But first, I want to do this guy. This guy's been calling to me. So before we do what's ever in here, we're going to do this guy, this guy. Okay, so what do I want to do? I want to do a low amount here. So we're going to do, we're going to do $5 in here. And I don't think I have an envelope for this. I just realized I don't have an envelope for this guy. So we're going to do $5. Y'all, I got these new markers for Christmas, these new alcohol markers. I absolutely love them. So I'm going to be using them for all my challenges. And it, they, they actually, this paper is really thick, but as you can see, it comes through a little bit. On regular paper, it completely bleeds through. So this is $5. We're going to be putting, I don't think I have an envelope for this. So we're going to be putting this off to the side right here. I didn't put an, I had to create an envelope for this guy. So we're down $5. <laughs> So we're going to do, we're not going to do the 100 envelope. We're going to do the Christmas challenge. So we're going to cross off. Do I have a red here? I do. I have a red. So we're going to cross off. We're going to do another $5. So we're going to cross off one of these Christmas trees. We're going to put $5 in here. And do we want to cross with another Christmas tree? No, we'll, we'll keep it simple. We'll keep it simple. And this Chris, this challenge was given to me by one of my viewers. Um, this is from Judith Price, one of my viewers. Thank you, Judith. It's such a cute little challenge. And of course, this money is going to go to my Christmas fund. I have a couple of challenges in here that I'm going to put towards my Christmas fund. So there you go. And we're saving $120 in this challenge right here. Everything in this binder is over $100, in case you're wondering. So this challenge right here is from D's Digital World, and it's from It's D Bankroll. So we're going to do, let's see if we have a purple. We think we have a purple. Do we want to do pink or purple? Let's do pink. So we have a pink pen, and we're going to do $4 in this challenge. Or do I want to do, let's see, how much do I want to do in here? Let's do doing pink. Ooh, I like the pink. I really do love these markers. Let's do $4, or do I want to do 6 What do I want to do? Let's start with four. Maybe I'll come back and do. I'll come back and do another one if I need to. 
Are we done? Okay, they're dry. It's dry! <laughs> okay. Then the next one up is also from D. And this is Finish the Circle. And we're going to do $2 on this one. Oh, boy. Okay, wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. We're going to put money amounts into these, these circles. Save the amounts as you go, as you get to the finished circle. Add more by saving your desired amount. Let's see. We're going to make this. Do I want to do this? Five. Ten. 15, 20, 5, 10, 15. Okay. I, I like increments of 5. Don't ask me why. I just do. Okay. Hold on. It's a little warm in here. Hold on. I know it's like freezing everywhere on the planet, but it's, I have my heater on them, so I'm a little warm. So hold on. Okay. 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 I'm going to have to make these a little darker, but I could read them from here. Hopefully you can read them too. So we're just going to save $2 in this guy right now. Wait a minute, wait a minute, do I have a purple one? Oh, I do have a purple one. Let's use purple on the next one. We use purple on the next one. So we're going to put $2 in this one. Okay, I'm trying to try to give all these challenges a little bit of love. We're going to see how far we get. Then we have subtract the debt. And this is my challenge. If you're looking, this is in my Etsy shop. And it comes with, hold on, I'm reaching in front of the camera. It comes with a deck of cards. Actually, what I want to do with these, I think I'm going to mix them up like I did with the other ones. So I have Divide and Conquer here, which is the next game up. And I have Subtract the Debt. And I think I'm going to mix them up. Put this off to the side so I can do a proper shuffle. Hold on, I'm going to move you out the way. Put you over here. Make an envelope for you. Put my little thing right here. Oh, this is gonna be this is it gonna be around the shelf. We'll, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. I got small hands. One more shuffle. I like the way these shuffle, I have to say. Okay. So we're going to bring this back out and we're going to do a little shuffle, shuffle. And these are front and back. So I'm going to pick two cards. Hopefully they will be one from the bottom and one from the top. I'm sure they're not shuffled all that great, but we're just going to go with it. We're just going to go with it, man. We'll put these right here. So uh, 9 to minus 7 is 2, red 2, and we're going to use we're gonna use red for red. How about that? Red for red. I love these pins. I love them, I love them, I love them. Okay. On the other side, 10 minus 2 is 8. 5. Uh-oh. I was, no, I owe it eight. I owe it one. I owe it a dollar. Let's see. Maybe I can go back in here and maybe swap out some singles. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Okay. Do I where, where can I put some singles? Oh, I have no singles in here. What's up with that? Okay. We're gonna go to the bank. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna. This is gonna work out. We're gonna make it work. We're gonna make it work. So two, and I owe it one. So I'm gonna put this up like here. Put this right here. So hold on for a moment. We're gonna get some change. Okay, I'm back. So I have some singles here. One, two, three, four, five, six, 
seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, we're gonna take this 10 out, put it over here, so we're gonna get it confused. And now I have one dollar bill I can put in there, and there we go. So 10, eight plus two, we should have ten dollars in here. Wait, why did I just do that to begin with? Why didn't y'all just tell me to do that? Why? Oh my god, why didn't y'all just tell me to put ten dollar bill in here? Oh my god, I'm so sad, I'm so pitiful. Okay, there we go, ten dollars in here. I need help, y'all. I just do things the hard way. I just do things the hard way, and that is just my life. Okay, so the next one up is save, extract the debt. Okay, next one up is bless to be a blessing. And this is from the organized owl, the almost organized owl. We're going to retire this card. And we're going to put $15 in here. One, two, three, four, five. And we're going to cross off a little hand. And this is actually, is this the purple one? No, this is the, let's use, let's use, let's use, let's use the actual purple one. Now, should I color in the little, we're going to color in these guys. Okay. And the goal here is three hundred dollars. This is going to be allocated to giving. Giving. It's giving, giving. Okay. Make sure it doesn't smear my envelopes because you know they tend to dry slowly. So the last one in this envelope, in this binder, is divide and conquer, y'all. And the last one we have is eight divided by one, which is eight. Okay, so that's eight dollars, and then fifty-six divided by seven is no, sorry, eight divided by one is eight, and fifty-six divided by seven, seven is eight. That's sixteen dollars. Do we have sixteen dollars? We don't. We only have fourteen. Ooh. So we don't have sixteen dollars. We owe this one two. So we're going to do, where's, where's my, where's my, where's my yellow? And we're going to do 18 divided by 1, which is 8. And 18. And we owe 2. So on the back, I'm going to write, I'm going to write the IOU. So 117 equals I owe you two dollars. Okay. So there we go. We're gonna retire this card. And there we go. I think we did all our challenges for the um the Bigums binder. And we allocated all our money and we did all the challenges. Look at that. We're starting off to a good start. So we did uh Divide and conquer. Bless is a blessing. Yeah, we did them all. Okay. Every little bit counts. And I am happy to say we are done with the Bigum Savings Challenges. And I am liking these, these pins. So I'm going to write down the color of these. These pins all have, these are from Cali Art. And they're, um, they are alcohol ink markers. So they're just, they're like, Alcohol ink markers are like Sharpies. They're except they're better quality than well, not better qual. They're just different, um, but they all work the same and they're all kind of made of the same material. But this Sharpie seems a little bit more streakier and stickier than this. This is a little smoother. goes on a goes on the page smoother. So you got a fine tip and a broad tip, and it comes with. I got the pack of 168 markers because I'm going to be using them for my bullet journal and for other projects. So. I have a lot of markers to choose from, but I want to make sure I keep using these same colors in my, um, to mark up my savings challenges. So I got to write these colors down. So yeah, we're all done. And, uh, if you want, I could, I mean, if you want to uh, purchase these, they were not that expensive, um, for 168 markers, they were pretty cheap and they work out pretty well. So I'll link these below in case you were looking for them. 
And uh, I think that's it. So we have did my 100 envelope. We did all the saving challenges in here. I think we did good today, even though I cannot add or subtract, but we did good today. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Hope to start off the year with some um, good, 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 uh, good start with our savings challenges. And if I don't see you, I will, if I don't talk to you, I hope you have a great week and I will see you in the next one. Take care. Bye. Bye.